The Prime Minister held another press conference in front of what has become his unofficial residence at Rideau Cottage, with 24 Sussex Drive being uh, uh, renovated. This seems to have become an almost daily event since he announced the closure of our borders last, uh, last week. In his Saturday morning press conference, he took uh, almost 30 minutes to say, well, absolutely nothing important, and he did it in both official languages. Now, I have no issue with the Prime Minister providing updates to Canadians when he has something to say. It's just that he didn't seem to have anything to say. Thus far, though, he has announced an $82 billion stimulus spend that could drive the deficit north of $100 billion. Think about that number. It's massive. But by far the most significant announcement uh, he has made is saying that Canada will no longer allow the illegal migrants crossing the border at Roxham Road from upstate New York to Quebec, reversing three years of flawed policy. He did it without apology to Canadians for the nearly 60,000 people who have already entered the country illegally uh, and, and accessed our very generous system while awaiting uh, adjudication on their uh, refugee claims. What is not clear is how many of those who are unsuccessful with their refugee claims and are ordered out of the country actually leave. There isn't much available information on that that I could find anyway, but I'd wager the number is very high. Most refugee applications uh, are not accepted, and theoretically, those who are unsuccessful are ordered out. Do they actually leave or do they continue to remain and access the generous welfare system, medical systems, and educational systems of the country? We don't know. It's about time that the Prime Minister took this action after three years of saying there was nothing we, as a country, could do about it. Clearly, that was nonsense, as was calling Conservatives who called for the, the shutdown of the Roxham Road access point. Uh, he called them racists. It is not racist to want to secure our borders and to protect the nation. I'm glad that the Prime Minister has finally come to that conclusion. It remains to be seen whether, once closed, it will remain closed once the pandemic is over, though. And it will be over sooner or later. The question remains is when and how many deaths will be directly related to the COVID-19 virus by that time. The other question that remains is at what cost uh, to the Canadian economy. There has been varying reactions to the pandemic depending on where you live and work. In Vancouver, for example, it has ordered that all restaurants stop serving dine-in meals as of midnight last night. Across the Burrard Inlet, there is no such restrictions in North Vancouver. That might change, but as of today, that is the case. Those affected uh, restaurants and the many folks that they employ will be directly and adversely affected. The government has promised financial assistance to affected businesses, but again, at what cost? Is it worth a hundred billion dollar deficit? Time will tell, but at least the Prime Minister is finally engaged after sitting on the sidelines for weeks after the U.S. had taken action. The other thing I'd like to see is for the Prime Minister to stop with the stunts at his press conferences, like the one the other day where he ran back into the house to get a coat after he had started the presser. Or the one this morning where he started the media briefing wearing headphones and then seemingly took them out as an afterthought after he had started talking. These are serious times and the Prime Minister is talking about serious things. One would hope that he would appear as serious as a subject matter. For True North, I'm Leo Knight.